Hey, what's going on guys? Dan with Backwoods Overland, and today we just wanna go over a quick electrical install for you. We get a lot of questions around our electrical installs, in particular the Victron Energy products that we install in the vehicles. So today we wanna go over quickly the BMV 712 Smart Battery Monitor, and we're gonna be showing you a real world application for that in this 200 series Land Cruiser. So we're not gonna show you every single install step, but we'll give you the basic overview of how to hook it up and how to kind of set everything up. And then we'll show you the functionality that comes with this system, in particular, the Bluetooth application. Now we're gonna end up mounting the controller in the rear of this vehicle, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can mount it pretty much wherever you want. So we'll show you exactly what each component does to hopefully give you a better idea of what each part does so that you can install it in your own vehicle. So the main component of this kit is the monitor itself. Now this can mount a number of different ways. You can use a 52 millimeter hole saw and attach it from the back with this ring, but also included in the kit are an external mount for if you were going to mount it like on a wall or something like that. And then it has this nice cover plate that you can put over top of that to hide those screws. But what's gonna happen here is this is gonna mount at whatever location you want to control or view your battery voltage, current, whatever you need to view from this monitor. From there, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the communications cable, which we already have run back here on the 200 series. And then from the monitor through the communications cable, we're gonna get to the shunt. Now this is gonna be mounted up by the battery location of the vehicle. In particular, we're gonna mount this near our auxiliary battery. So the shunt has two red wires that come off of it. Each one of these is gonna to run to the positive terminal on each one of your batteries, and that's gonna give us the voltage readout for those batteries. Now, like I mentioned before, this is going to be installed with the auxiliary battery. So the negative terminal of the auxiliary battery is going to go to the input side of the shunt. Then from there, all of the negative terminals for all of our loads, so whatever accessories we're mounting to the aux battery, are gonna to go to this side. What this does is it allows the shunt to read the current that is coming through for each one of your accessories, and then it feeds that information back to the monitor. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install it in the vehicle, and then once it's all hooked up, we'll show you exactly how it works, and we'll also show you the functionality of the Bluetooth app. So now we have everything hooked up, I just wanna run through the different display options on the rear unit here. So first we have our main battery voltage, so this is your starting battery. Then after that we have our auxiliary battery voltage, which can also be reflected here on these other gauges that we have. Next we have our current, so this is how much current is running through the system right now. Then after that we have our wattage, so this is the wattage of the system. Now we have our consumed amp hours. So this is how many amp hours the entire system has gone through thus far. Next, we have our state of charge. Right now, this reads at 99.9%. .9%. That's not 100% accurate. We are going to see this number change over time as the system learns the battery and the electrical system that it is on right now. So the longer that this system is running, the more accurate it will become. Then after that, we have our time to go. So this is how much time we have on the current power draw until the battery needs to be recharged. And then we are back to our main battery here. So now that we've taken a look at this, let's take a look at the Bluetooth app. So once you've downloaded the Victron Connect app, once you go in, you're gonna see your device list and you'll see your unit pop up right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna connect. The default code to access this is six zeros. From here, you'll see everything that we need, but it's first gonna ask us to change the pin code for the unit. For the sake of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and skip that for right now. But everything that we can see here was what we just saw by clicking through the unit earlier. So we have our voltages, we have our current power, our consumed amp hours, and our time remaining, and we can see all of this from one screen. So then on the next page, we can see our history for the unit, and this gives us all of the readouts that we would need to look at. We also can look at our trends on the next page so we can see what is drawing what and where our amperages spike and that sort of thing. Now, if back on the first page with our power, what we'll see if we install a solar unit is a positive wattage on this when it is being charged. 
So then if we go over one more page, we can see our history, which gives us all of our readouts there as well. And then the last page here is our trends. So we can see where things are spiking, where things are leveling off, that kind of thing over a period of time. So back on our status page, under our power section, if we were to install a solar panel here, we would see a positive offset for our power consumption when the solar panel is charging our batteries. We may or may not see a positive wattage, but that's dependent on what the system is currently using and how much power is coming in from our solar panels. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for us today. If you have any questions on this or any other Victron products, go ahead and leave them down in those comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it really does help us out here on the channel. Now, something else that's worth mentioning is that here at Backwoods, we are the off-road communities distributor for Victron products. So if you're interested in becoming a Victron dealer, go ahead and reach out to us through our website at backwoodsoverland.com. Thanks for watching this video today, guys. We'll see you next time.